other interesting cultural news, you have Elon Musk on the United States being invaded, going viral on social media. Now, this is something where, yeah, we've had a record number of illegal immigration in the United States the past 42 months. I believe it's, I'm going to say as high as, you know, 10 to 12 million. And yeah, this population greater than most states in the United States. And for most people with mocking intelligence, that would be considered something to be concerned about, especially because we see many of those folks are criminals. Again, not all of them. Some are very fine people. And some, I assume, are good people. Which, maybe that's the worst Trump impression you've heard all year. But the attempt was nevertheless made. This was Elon actually responding to Donald Trump. So, I will perhaps paint your ears one more time with his attempted impression. So, Donald Trump has his video, and I'll play the video in a New York minute. It says, quote, America is being invaded, and the occupation liberate America. Vote, so swap the vote, dot, USA.com for more information. Which, the attempt was made. So this is about a minute 50, and then you have Elon reacting to it, so let's watch this little commercial here. Open borders, deadly consequences. Border crisis, record high crossings are putting a strain on cities across America. It is a full-blown invasion. Armed Venezuelan gang members storming an apartment complex in Aurora, Colorado. When people talk about my good crime, this is what they're talking I never forget the uh, leaders in Colorado. They said, oh yeah, that's, that's not actually happening. Uh-huh. Turns out it was. And those uh, Venezuelan gangs are actually extorting people who are living at those apartments demanding rent. Talking about Biden and Harris had created a program to bring them in under humanitarian parole. I am in favor of saying that we're not going to treat people who are undocumented across the border as criminals. More than 13,000 illegal immigrants convicted of murder have been released into the United States. My 20-year-old daughter, Kayla Hamilton, was murdered in her own room. Kayla's murderer was apprehended by Border Patrol crossing illegally into the U.S. Kayla's murderer had been improperly released into the United States. Abolish ICE. Yeah, we need to probably think about starting from scratch. An Afghan national is in custody today after being accused of plotting an election day terrorist attack. The suspect entered the U.S. on a special immigrant visa. More than a dozen people suspected of being Tren de Aragua gang members right here in San Antonio. The gang members had been terrorizing the apartment complex. New details in the murder of Lake and Riley. The illegal immigrant suspect, who cops say committed the heinous murder, is a Venezuelan national. And was paroled and released into the country by the Biden administration. Two men investigators say are in the country illegally from Venezuela are charged with capital murder and the death of Jocelyn Nungaray. Court documents suggest a group of men arrested for beating and robbing a Dallas woman last month are members of a Venezuelan street gang. Manuel Hernandez Hernandez was booked by Colleyville police just two days earlier and released the day before the robbery. And the last screen says, end the occupation, liberate America. And of course, it fades out. It's kind of cliche to fade out, but it fades out to Trump bans to make America great again, 2024. Which, yeah, it's fascinating. This is a, well, not just a cultural thing, but a political thing in terms of, I mean, some people just want the open border, which maybe they just never read a history book, does not end well. This went pretty probably got 58.7 million views. And then Elon responded saying, quote, it look, if it looks like an invasion, sounds like an invasion, and use guns like an invasion, then it's an invasion, unquote. Again, I got. Wow, 58.7 million views and 302,000 likes. With the first likes or comments rather coming from AKA saying, quote, yep, it's an invasion. Just insane that Democrats are allowed to let this happen, getting 432 likes. Never forget, they actually, they actually, not only they allowed it to happen, they pushed to have it happen more. We had the U.S. government suing the great state or some might argue the great country of Texas. When we tried to defend our border, the government sued us to try to prevent that. They also did that with Arizona. So we try to do their job, and they say no. Yeah, that sounds like treason to me, but that's just my three cents. Used to be two cents, but 40-year hyperinflation? Gotta be three cents. Though, it is still free to click that subscribe gut button. Ian Miles Strong says, quote, Is 1% an invasion and anyone telling you otherwise is part of the evasion? 654 likes. Paul Zupa says, quote, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris invited this inv invasion by... In the first 100 days, canceling 94 executive actions by President Donald Trump that kept the border secure. Biden Harris are both guilty of treason. Countless Americans have died in the hands of illegals because of them. I got 989 likes, which, yeah, Kamala Harris keeps, you know, it's hard, it's hard to do a Kamala Harris impression of her accent because she changes so fluidly, you know, kind of like her policies. But, yeah, I, I'm trying to think of how to do a cackling, you know, kind of random accent of Kamala Harris. But, yeah, she keeps saying uh, they, need, they need, a, you know, they need the House and the Senate to do stuff. And yet... Day one, Biden repealed, again, 94 executive actions, which were working just 
look at any graph about illegal immigration. Now, you also have World of Statistics, who said, quote, annual encounters with migrants at the U.S.-Mexico border. 2024 was 2.756 million. 2023 is 3.2 million. 2022 is 2.7 million. 2021 was 1.9 million. 2020 was 646,000. A pretty big increase. It got 431. We also have Cash Lorenz said an invasion by design allowed by Kamala and Harris and Democrats getting 36 likes. Hmm. Mentally vacuous, but nevertheless, it's a contrarian statement, so I'll go ahead and read it. This is from Keith Aloha, which, spoiler alert, he's a leftist, and maybe one of the few examples where I'll permit an emoji in their name. The emoji is, in fact, of a palm tree, and he says, if it looks like a good post, sounds like a good post, it must be a great post. And he has a screenshot of Elon Musk saying, believe what you see, not what you're told. Someone in the text actually responded to someone saying, okay, I told you you're, an, you're a genius, but I've only ever seen you act like an effing moron. Like most leftists, Keith did not actually, you know, address the main substance of this post about illegal immigration or the statistics around how this increased. But he just says, Elon man bad. You see this with a lot of leftists where they also do orange man bad with Trump. And don't get me wrong, there's some people on the far right who do it as well. Can't help but notice the frequency of, you know, leftists. But nevertheless, while being mentally vacuous, that did get 39 likes. Scrolling down more and more, you have Fight With Memes, who, A+, plus, they did, in fact, respond in meme form. Saying, this is fine, and then he has a picture of the U.S.-Mexico border being overrun by illegals. And it says, you're not being intolerant, you're not being inclusive, you're not being open-minded, you're being conquered, unquote. Got 1.2 thousand likes. Scrolling down more and more. Trump Army says, together we'll make America secure again. This picture, I think it's photoshopped. Let's get the images. Maybe it's real? It looks like Trump, J.D. Vance, and then Elon. But it looks like they're standing in like, like a farm or something, or a barn. Got 1,000 likes, though. Scrolling down more and more, you have Radio Geneva saying, America is making the same mistake as Europe. We need mass deportations. Getting 1.8 thousand likes. Trump Army has a picture of Elon and Trump. It simply says... They are on a mission to save this great nation again, getting 1,000 likes. Gentile News Network says, dang, if we only could figure out who is sending them, getting 4.1 thousand likes, which, that's a fascinating thing. People think it's only people coming from Mexico, but it's literally people from all over the globe that are coming through this path in the United States. Beast Eat says, this is a real invasion, using the term illegal uh, immigration is too mild to describe it. And there you're in the first, it's a juxtaposition of two pictures. In the first picture, you have immigration, you have people of many nationalities waving the American flag. And then the picture below it is invasion, it's like a lot of illegals just marching in a straight line. That is an interesting thing we've seen kind of change throughout the past couple of decades. I mean, it used to be, you know, America was a melting pot. There's a lot of assimilation. When my family came from Cuba, I mean, you won't see a single person waving a Cuban flag because those, dictator, those dictators are evil as hell over there. That's why we all, you know, escaped the, the Castros. You, you will see a lot of Cubans probably waving the American flag. That's why we came here. It's freedom. But it is interesting to see a lot of people nowadays coming to the United States where they're seemingly more proud of their country than ours in terms of, you know, their actions and their displays. The American flag is becoming more and more rare these days. Now, that picture of the juxtaposition of the two, um, you know, immigration versus evasion also got 129 likes. Let's see here. Scrolling down more and more. It must be a real picture. There's like 12 pictures of Elon and Trump in a barn. And they're all describing, you know, saying how they could fix it, which it will be a huge, logis it'll be a huge logistical military thing to actually get that and you obviously have to work with local police if you actually want to do mass deportations it'd be one of the most complex and in terms of logistic actions the u.s has done in decades someone like elon can spearhead that or someone from the private sector but yeah in terms of like government doing anything right like i'm not gonna say the odds are zero but they're approximately 0 0.0000000000725 percent approximately scrolling down more and more you have wayne dunlop saying quote is uh, incontentable what the Biden Harris administration has inflicted on our cities and diverting precious resources to criminals entering your country illegally only increases the power. Looks like an article from the Daily Mail referencing New York City it says 4.9 million per night. It says New York City seeks, seeks 14,000 hotel rooms for migrants through 2025, with one costing, well, with each one costing $352 per night. Got 19 likes for that article. Let's see. Diana Panchiento says the United States is increasingly resembling Ukraine, getting 141 likes. Well, except the fact we don't get taxpayer money sent to ourselves to help out people with hurricanes. Except for that part. <laughs> so it's... And not to make kind of curious statements. And again, this has become one of the biggest cultural things people talk about more and more the water cooler. And I suspect... I mean... I don't, 
I did a poll on the good old, oh, actually, no, the terrible YouTube. And I asked people, like, you know, how do you think the Kamala Harris, how, how do you think she is on the border? And 13% of people did small sample size. Granted, the sample size is like about 20 people. But, about, what was it, 13, 12 to 13% of people said she was doing a good job at the border. I'm not, unfortunately, they didn't give me, give any comments or kind of explain it. But I, I would love to get inside their head. I just wonder, you know, what, in what possible metric is she? Because I don't see it. But, who knows? Maybe let me know. I mean, this is certainly one of his political issues. It seems to be bleeding more and more to politics and rather more to culture with Elon chipping in. Let me know your thoughts, because as always, be fascinated to hear what you have to say. Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in. Again, trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you can click that button, I greatly appreciate it. Also, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment. It's a great way to give me some additional feedback, letting me know how I can make the show better and better. Lastly, don't get to take time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck. To your enemies, anyone and everyone, just stay safe and fight the good fight.